is what I've been looking for. You know what this little barcode means? <laughs> Park run! <laughs> It's back! One of the most inspiring, community orientated, humbling and social events that us as runners can do. Parkrun is a free, weekly timed 5k run in parks up and down the UK and across the world. It caters for all levels of runner, all ages, humans and doggos and it is powered by volunteers, legends who give up their own time or run to marshal, scan or time. If you're new to running or just have never been to a park run, then get to one. Trust me, it'll change your life in the very best way. This is as good as it gets. We're back. Park run is back after, I don't know how long, like a year and a half long time. And this is the first one and actually our last one as well, because next week we have Thailand. So we're just making the most of it and catching up with friends as well. We're halfway round. Yeah. Having a good time. <laughs> Really good. Whew. Ben and Martin couldn't help themselves. <clears throat> They're over there somewhere. How good is that? Pocket rocket. What a spirit. I've just seen Jeff. Old friend as well, just up ahead, Jimmy Shep. Ah. I'm about to look round, I forgot to turn my watch on. Oh, I did too, don't worry about it. No, 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 I need 20 metres. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is it. Well done, gang. <laughs> the first park run back. 70 and, weeks. And our, is it 70 weeks? weeks? And our last park run in the UK. No, it's our first run in the UK. Yeah, first yeah. run in the UK. Last run in the UK. Don't, don't fall over now, Ben. Woo woo! There's Laura. Thank you. Thank you. How'd you get on? Yeah, good. Yeah? I got a PB. No way. What'd you get? 21 something. Amazing. Well done. That's awesome. There's Brett making up the last 200 meters. Have you now done 5K? Yes. <laughs> the nightmare of not starting your watch at the start line. Oh, God. Honestly, the sole purpose of this video is to share the joy that I think Parkrun brings and to encourage you to get yourselves to one if you've never been. The sense of community, of giving and of purpose is just so powerful. So go and feel it for yourself. Oh, this was the most bridges goodbye we could think of is, is forcing people to at least either come and run or come and say goodbye after a run uh, in a socially distanced area without being able to, uh, without being indoors and we're going to go and grab a coffee with everyone that's turned up, which is... I mean, there must have been... I don't know how many people were here today. Hundreds and hundreds. I'm feeling you look like you're having a conversation with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no one around. Social distancing. Yeah, social distance chat with myself. That was amazing. It's so fun. How good was that? And it was just so, such a community feel, wasn't it? Yeah, just lovely running. Good times. I think things like that really reinvigorate your love for kind of why we're in running. Yeah. Because a lot of runs hurt, a lot of runs are solitary or just us and then you get out and then you see. Uh, I mean there must have been five, six hundred people, I don't know. And the kids and the dogs and the yeah. parents and everybody running just, just being out there doing it together to start the weekend. It's just so encouraging. Yeah. This is the weirdest car chat you're ever... Oh, sorry. This is the weirdest... Car chat! You're ever going to see because Winnie's just found her way into the front seat of the car <laughs> as we parked up. Hello, Bubba. So, park run. It was so good. Wasn't it? It's just such a community vibe and, like, 
for me it's the kids like there was a kid with a 50 park run t-shirt on who was absolutely smashing it amazing and she couldn't have been more than five or six years old do you reckon yeah and she did it in under 30 minutes yeah, 28 minutes powering. or something it's just that sense of community that we've we've long been missing in running um the majority you're right loads yeah? of doggos the majority of 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 our runs have been either solitary or just us and and there is a, a community aspect and what's amazing about park run is it, it is free it's um crewed by volunteers who give up their time who would probably usually run but don't run and so everyone else can run yeah and it has the race feel without having to pay for a race it is if you've never done a park run and, and you're nervous about your first race or whatever that is an amazing inn a halfway house yeah um hi you okay there she's sitting on the um gear stick so yeah no it's a it's a great inn that's what park runs are and it's a real unbelievable sense of community and good vibes and such a good start to the weekend like it really fills your soul with like goodness everyone just moving and smiling and having a good time and like best way to start the weekend yeah absolutely and, and a lot of people come from countries where park run is not a thing i mean australia and the uk are pretty much where park run is done and all over europe is it? Yeah. It's oh, it's getting way. into Europe. So, if you come from a country where there isn't a park run and you're watching this and you wish that there was, and I I say I know I understand what I'm about to say might sound like a bit overwhelming. Start one. It, I really believe that. Like I've I've organized races before I've organized competitions and yes, they involve work, but the reward that you get back for doing something like that is just huge. We need one in Thailand. Well, that's it. Well, do we look to create one? Like that's the thing. Do we create a park run? That's something that we need to think about. And, and, and the reward is huge. And it outweighs any potential hard work to, to get to that point. So um, this, I just feel good now. Like we've run with lots of people. We socially distanced. We managed, we made sure we stayed apart, you know. Um, I wonder if I was like, this will be our last park run. But now I'm thinking we could squeeze it in next week. But we'll have to see how we're feeling. Yeah. We still have a lot to do at that point. Be yeah. our last full day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do it potentially, but might be a bit much. Oh, little chunky. She could come with us next week. We didn't bring her this week, but next week we could take her. So I guess all that is to come is our last run in the UK. Our last official UK run is coming up. I've planned the route. Mary's planned the route. We're going to take you to some really good views, some really exciting stuff. So that's coming up. That will be Sunday when we're actually officially flying. We'll have the video up for you we'll there. We'll be at the airport when the video goes up. Yeah. Hopefully then, eating pancakes and drinking coffee. Yeah. And then it's phase two. Our life in Bangkok, training in Bangkok. Some of the most beautiful races, fingers crossed, in the world. Some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. New life, part two, this messy happy, phase two. Be there or be square because you're not around. That was. That's why I believe it's be there or be square. Thanks for watching to this point. And thanks from me too. Part two? Coming up. Let's do it. Ah, you got your catchphrase in at the last minute. I've got a dog hair in my mouth. There's dog hair everywhere now because we've been stroking her.